Glaive Brickbreaker. With my kids gone for the summer, I wasn't in the mood to play a big game the very first week they were gone. So I decided to look through the 99 cent and lower section of the Switch eShop. And it turns out there are quite a few games in there. And I found one that interests me and I bought it. Now to be fair to this game, it's not normally 99 cents. It's usually a 9.99 game. So it's not some cheap game I found. It was more like some overpriced game I found on sale. Kind of like when you see something on sale going, normally $149, today you can get it for 50 cents. One of those things that are just perpetually on sale because nobody would ever actually pay the real price. So this is an Arkanoid clone, as you can probably see. You bounce a ball up towards some bricks and you stop it from falling in a hole. It's really that simple. There are over a hundred stages in this. That's actually quite impressive. They are what I would call beginner and advanced levels. They have them broken up in normal, neon, and winter. And if you're wondering in the video why you're not seeing a lot of neon and winter levels, it's because I suck at them. As you break the bricks, the power-ups will fall down. However, the text is too small to really be able to tell ahead of time what the best power-up is to get. Also, the controls were a bit stiff. Nothing unplayable, but it was way more tight than most brick-breaking games that I've played in the past. The bricks would sometimes have different properties, like not being able to break one, or it might hold onto your ball for a few seconds, or the most bo one, it might retract into the level, making it impossible for you to hit it. I truly hated when they had these in a level. It would just often end up prolonging you in the level because you might miss it if it's retracted. But sure, it comes back out, but often your ball isn't going to be anywhere near it at the time. It was just annoying. It was nice that the game fills up a bar every time it hits a brick or your paddle, and then when it's all filled up, it does a speed attack where it makes it so you can't fall in a hole for a few seconds and it just bounces around like crazy. So it breaks a lot of bricks. There is a two-player mode that you can play with, and an endurance mode, where you have only 10 lives to take out as many levels as you can. In normal play, they give you three lives every time you start a level, and reset it back to three lives every time you finish the level. In endurance, they want to see how long you can go without them giving you more lives. Also, there's a level creator. Sure, it's pretty simple, but the option to make your own levels is quite a surprise. It works well, and the only real downfall is that you can't upload your levels to let others play it. Glade Brick Breaker was more fun than I expected. It controlled a bit tightly, and some of the gimmick bricks were more annoying than fun. However, for the cheap price of 99 cents, it's totally worth it. Now, at the normal price of $9.99, absolutely not. I think the most you should pay for this is like $2.99. If it didn't have so many modes and levels, I wouldn't have even said it was worth that much. But for the price it was when I bought it, then yeah, it's worth a buy. But definitely only when it's on sale.